Hey, have you ever seen this in Gradebook? You can tell that a student has made an attempt at a quiz or a test, but for some reason it wasn't submitted correctly and a grade was never published. Now you can click on the icon, go in, take a look at what they've done, but you might get frustrated pretty quickly when it appears like you can't publish a grade and you search around in vain for a place to complete the submission. And if you use adaptive release like I do, a test that's stuck in limbo can prevent a student from moving on in a course. So today I want to give you a real quick solution to this problem. But before we can solve the problem, I need to create a problem to solve. And that's going to give me the opportunity to demonstrate how you can actually test out your course as a student. If you've been using Brightspace for any amount of time, you're probably already familiar with Learner View. You're able to go in as a student and see what things look like from the student viewpoint. The problem is there are going to be a number of things you can't do. For instance, if I go in and attempt to take a quiz or a test, I can go to the quiz, but when I get to the page where it tells me click Start Quiz to begin attempt, it doesn't give me a Start Quiz button. So I'm going to show you a better way to go in from the student viewpoint. Let's get out of Learner View. Now if your instructor model has been equipped with a test student, you can go to Grades and take a look right here where you'll find the test student option. But if you click on this little drop down arrow, you won't find the option to impersonate the student. For that, you need to go someplace else. So let's come up here to Course Tools, go to Course Administration, go down to Class List, and when you get in there, hit the drop down arrow next to Test Student, and you're going to see the option right here to impersonate the student. If you click on that, you'll be able to go in as the student and take the test. So let's do that. Now as a test student I can do pretty much anything a student could do in the course. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to content. I'm going to take a look in coursework and I'm going to see my EVA which is an enrollment verification activity that the student must complete before they're able to go on and see any of the work. So if you look down below you won't see unit 1 appear not until you take the EVA. So let's go ahead and make an attempt at the EVA. When I click on this and hit go to quiz, this time when I scroll down to the bottom of the page, or I don't even have to scroll down, I can see the start quiz button clearly visible. So let's go ahead and try that quiz. This is a simple quiz that I set up. It has only two questions. The first one's a true false. So let's just put true. The second one is a short paragraph response, and I'm just going to type the word essay right there. And then I'm going to go down and submit the quiz. Now when the student sees quiz submission confirmation, they may think they're done. The quiz has been submitted. They might close Brightspace. They may shut down the window. They may shut down the computer. But the quiz has actually not been submitted correctly. It's going to be stuck in that limbo zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this out without hitting the button. I'm going to go back to content. And I'm going to go back to coursework. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to notice I still can't see Unit 1. Something is obviously wrong, but the student might not realize that. I'm going to go ahead and stop impersonating the student and return to the teacher view. Now as an instructor, I can go over to my grades and take a look and see what my students have been doing. When I go in here and go to test student, I notice right under the EVA, there's my little icon with the little orange dot at the top. I can tell they've made an attempt, but if I click on that to take a look, go to first attempt, I can see what they've done, I can see what they've written, but when I go down to look at publish grade, it doesn't give me the option to publish the grade or to grade it at all. The only thing I can do is close out of that. Now I can go ahead and search for a place to submit that grade. So why don't I go over to course tools, hit quizzes, I'm going to find that same quiz, go down to grade, and take a look at the attempts that are in there. Of course if I go to attempts, I don't see that attempt even listed. For that, I need to go down here, and instead of attempts that have been completed, I'm going to click on all attempts, or attempts in progress. Let's do attempts in progress. Hit search. Now if I scroll down, there's the attempt that I'm looking for. Test student, in progress, there's no grade. And when I look above, it doesn't give me the option to actually complete the submission for the student. So where do I go? Well. 
The trick is, I need to come down here to this little icon next to the In Progress area where it says Enter Quiz as User. If I go in there, I can actually complete the submission for the student. So let's see how that works. Yes, I'm sure I want to do that. So I can go in, I can see the quiz, I can see their answers, and at the bottom I have the button to submit quiz. On the second page, as an instructor, of course, I know I need to submit quiz one more time. Now when I go ahead and look at attempts in progress, it will not appear. When I go back to my grades, I'm going to be able to look down at the test student and I see that a grade has been posted. Now it's only partially graded because the true false section was automatically graded. I need to go in and manually grade the other section, but for now that's fine. Let's take a look again at what the student will see. So let's go back over to Course Tools, go down to Course Administration, go down to Class Lists, and this time I'm going to impersonate the test student one more time in order to see if I actually will be able to see Unit 1. When I go over to Content and Coursework, I'll scroll down and there Unit 1 has now been made visible. So now the student will be able to actually progress in the course. So in the end, it's actually really simple to complete a student submission. You just need to know exactly where to look. And that little icon, which is sitting right there next to In Progress, is actually pretty visible. It's just that if you don't hover over it, you don't realize what it does. And now that you do, it should save you a lot of frustration going forward. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and take care.